One recent night in Bristol, the great, the good and the simply curious gathered at the Riverside offices of a big firm of solicitors. The meeting was in preparation for Bristol's first mayoral election, which takes place this autumn. It was the launch of the Bristol Manifesto Group, which plans to collect wishes from the people of Bristol, put them into a manifesto and get the new mayor, whoever he or she is, to make them come true. An ambitious plan, but this group is very determined. This is a way of getting the whole of the city engaged in the coming election. Now, how do you do that? We're doing it by asking people to put their wishes in for what they want the mayor to do. And from those wishes and from a questionnaire, we're going to create, we're crowdsourcing, co-creating a manifesto um, that will be a document that we're going to hand to the future mayor saying, here's your mandate. You normally associate a manifesto with a particular political party, so this is the... This is a, a manifesto without a party. That's right, that's one of the ways that this is really unusual and I think crowd groundbreaking uh, because a manifesto doesn't have to be for a party. It just often is. You know, this is a manifesto for a city, it's a manifesto for a place and for the people of a place. So you're not you're definitely not supporting any particular party. This is a, a, a wish list for everybody. It's definitely a wish list for everybody. We are definitely not supporting any party. I really can't emphasize that enough. My name's Mike Norton, I'm the editor of The Post and our involvement with uh, Bristol Manifesto is to be a media partner. We're supporting the aims of the, uh, the manifesto which is to essentially turn the mirror back on the candidates for the mayoral election and rather than ask them what they think the policies for Bristol should be but to tell them what the people of Bristol think those policies should be. Have you ever heard of a manifesto coming out before the candidates do? No, it's a, but I, that's, that's why I like it. I think it's a really good idea. It's very different. I think it's very Bristol. And I think that uh, it, this is a very disparate, very disjointed city. And I think there are lots of people who feel a bit disengaged from the political process. I think anything that tries to engage those people tries to make them understand that there may well be something in it for them to vote, to perhaps uh, create change and that they will benefit from that change. I think, I think the manifesto has a, could have a hand in helping people to do that. Do you have three wishes? Um, I actually have just the one, and that is that we, we bring the city to come together and unite behind the plan for success for the city. That's what this is about. That, that's just the one, because I think everything else will follow. In a way, it's the, it's the one wish that gets you more. It's the one where you say, I wish I had several hundred wishes. That's the one.